so today we discuss the advanced excel training course in the course today discuss about the file menu bar so we have discussed about the basic excel last class we discussed the selection method and today we discuss about the file menu bar so in the file menu bar have the option related to file first you can see the home in the home you have see the first option is the blank workbook you can create the blank workbook and and this list is the recently use your template what is the template we discuss the uh, uh, in the next topic so this is the use template second thing list of the your recently open file here is the three category first the recent second the pin and third the share the recent is your recent opening file at this list will be changeable when you okay. open the new file your list will be changed here okay, okay? but if you have the one file and if you open the frequently this file so if you want to fix in the list then you can pin yeah here is the pin click on the pin fix and go to the pin list okay and you can also uh, receive the any file from the mail go go through the share with me okay, okay. yeah next is the new in the new tab we can the create the new and also the template now we discuss what is the template template is the pre defined format just like you want to make the one invoice but you have no idea uh, about the making the invoice how can make the invoice and also we have no time for to uh, make the design for invoice so search here just like invoice bill also uh, multiple keyword and you can get the invoice uh, different different invoice format choose the one invoice according according to your uh, requirement click here you can see the your template will be here and your uh, invoice format will be created just change your company name slogan and and mention the detail your invoice will be ready okay yeah so in the template microsoft provide the different different type of the template and also you can also create the template but why create the template in the office you have making the report first is uh, you can open the previous report save uh, save as the file as a new dates and clean the previous report data and enter the current report data right this is the procedure of making yeah. report okay okay if you have uh, received every day blank report format no uh, no uh, uh, no right to say, uh, no uh, no have the save the your uh, uh, previous file save as the previous file no required to clean your data your format will be ready to use so i give, i just make the one uh, template see here i create the new file just uh, create the sample one data just create the one sample report format this i have select here and on the border give the heading serial number the uh, time particulars there yeah balance this is the simple report format i have just created and also apply the total and uh, see that our total
okay this is the report yeah. format and now we have saved this report in the template format here the say uh, save as type i have changed excel workbook to excel template and see uh, select the location and enter the name just like i have named the report one report just like it. report and save here now you can also close the file when i uh, they, uh, uh, here is uh, see the report and they uh, see here change the icon this is the template icon click on the report you can see the new blank workbook as a report one report one just like book one book two book three then you creating the new work workbook so report one and this is the blank and if you change the data here and then you can press the save directly save as here the new file just like okay. book one book two book three okay when the in here the new workbook enter the data when you control s you can got, got the save as platform so every uh, report template uh, template uh, if you create the every report template then no need to save as your reports okay okay yeah so this is the template and you can also study in the different different uh, uh, template files because there is the fantastic reports formats and also apply the formula and different different category business personal planner and tracker list budget chart calendar everything you can also download okay. the calendar we have the uh, amazing calendar here just like this calendar also and here this this is the calendar also the amazing calendar format here okay here you just change the year and your every report uh, every month and every everything will be changed here monthly okay okay mm -hmm. so next feature is open so in the open you can open the your recent workbook also and any file from their folder so the, here is the long list of the recently file in the home have a short list at least 10 uh, five to 10 uh, data uh, data file here but in the open you can get the more than 50 report file here. okay and here is also top of the ping list this is is a this is the ping it's like uh, this is a uh, see here uh, this is this is the biometrics fitness i have opened the frequency of this file so click on the pin this file move to top of the list the ping list okay and not changeable here when change when you click the unpin if uh, here is the remove for the list and below of the recently open workbook but this is the long file and here is the also folder list you can select also folder list and you can also ping the folder if you have open the frequency folder then ping the folder this list will be fixed not changed and top of the list okay, okay. and there is the pc and browse also and you have we have the team drive just like map the folder also one drive type so open is the opener open your file second the info info is the uh, get the information about your file everything okay. you can also maintain the file property just like i have created the one report here this is uh, this is the wtmsg can i understand you you what type the data in the file need to open open and see the data then you can understand if this type of the data is stored in this file okay. sometimes we have a uh, uh, name uh, save a uh, save file name as a book one book two data one summary report i have not clarify the type of the data that time you can maintain the property property if you maintain the property just uh, go the cursor i see the title here msg data link now we have understand the, uh, this data for the message data link so you can also this is a, this is a download app mobile app data mm. title 
<coughs> class file, advanced Excel sample data. Mm. So how can maintain the property? So right click on the file, go to the property, go to the details, and here is the title. Okay. Yeah. And we have enter here. Just like batch twelve sample data four fever validation. Right? We have the mention the title. You can also mention the subject, also the searching key, category also, comment also. Okay. And then after the apply mm -hmm. and okay. And I have the just refresh here. Now just click on the on the file. You can see here your title, everything details. So you can edit your properties and find the file easily. Now the save and save is the same, but the problem is that when you save your file, check here the save file type. Mostly default your file save with the Excel workbook. If your uh, your file ha contain have a any micros uh, coding, micros a VBA code and VBA micro code file save in the Excel workbook, that is your file your uh, coding and your micros will be lost because Excel workbook is micro decibel file this file type not a contain any type of the coding thus simple excel file and data formatting formula okay so if yeah. you have a uh, micro contain micro contain in the excel file that time need to change file type in the micro excel micro enable workbook okay? okay yeah second thing you have the large size of the file just like 100 uh, 1 gb uh, 500 mb 800 mb that that file your data file will be uh, working slow when you open the file uh, take your time to open and also if you have change any type of the data your uh, uh, your file taking the longer time or so the calculation percentage so if you have want to change the size reduce the size that time you can save the file in the Excel binary workbook. Excel binary workbook. If you say save the your file in the Excel binary workbook, 30 to 35 percent file size will be reduced. But remember, this file contain only for the data, not a graphics or not a formula and a formatting. Mm. So if yeah. you have change, if you have saved the uh, your file data file in this format, your graphics, your formula, and your formatting will be removed okay? okay so this is a binary workbook stored only for the data in the binary format okay yeah and this is the print you can print your file and in the print have a uh, print setup just like select the your landscape map portrait your letter type your margin your printer your copies and print your, your pages and you can print print here. Simple. You can share yeah. the file to, to one drive. You have the one drive. You can share the file here on drive. Export. You can export your data in the XPS and PDF format. Publish. If you have connect the your file to your Power BI ID, you can directly publish your this data to Power BI. Okay. Now the account. This is the account Microsoft. If you have purchased the 365, you can log in your data, log in your account okay. in the Excel. Uh, in the Excel, if you log in the account in Excel, your, your uh, Excel file connect to your OneDrive, and also you can uh, update your Excel. If you have, uh, if you have need to update, if you click here and update the Excel. And second thing, feedback. Feedback is if you have any features not not available in the Excel, any feature, any type of the formula not available in the Excel, but you have the need. So you can also send the feedback to Microsoft. 
to require your requirement and maybe not a sure maybe next version your requirement your requirement type of the formula and the features including in the excel in the next version so microsoft okay. do the every uh, see the every feedback and if feedback is a necessary and if you are demanding the demanding is a very needful for all people that time microsoft include the this type mm -hmm. of the formula and feature in the next version just like some if max if this type of the formula not in the lower version but this is a demanding okay, okay? yeah and next is the option option you can you can change the your default set microsoft microsoft change uh, save the your uh, excel the default format but you can change the default format to your uh, default setting on your according your uh, your requirement but why why need to change the, the excel setting and why we uh, why discuss the second class for the excel setting because i have suggest you uh, if when you purchasing a new mobile when you purchasing a new mobile before the using you can change the wallpaper ringtone uh, alarm everything customize yeah. you can customize the setting according to your requirement same thing yeah. in the excel excel before the using the excel we can customize the excel setting according to our work environment so what type of changing in the general setting you have the enable live preview if you have apply any color get the preview if you have removed the checklist you can see the uh, format second thing is the default font type the my default my default font type is the arial i have changed but default is the calibri but my, many people use the specific format specific font you can set here this just like in the india i have, have a one state is the up in the up government offices used to hindi fonts see so they are used the set the default font in the hindi because if you have not set the default font every need to every cell change the font every time so if you have set here your default font no need to change your default excel files font is the fix on the font size number of uh, workbook how many workbook number uh, added the when you creating a new file how many seed the default get you you have a change here to 3 4 5 when you require second the user name user name means the author name you can know who are who are the creating this file just click the cursor and see the author name okay okay see here. author name ipt access school so default author name your login id a login id may be user1 admin1 is this type of the name you can you want to enter your correct name your understandable name that you, uh, that time you can change the excel user name so <coughs> user name is also your author name okay I think it is the office theme. You can also use the theme. This is colorful, colorful, dark. If you change the dark, see here dark. Okay. Okay. So options. Change the black. The black. In the option. Change the. white the white and colorful then color this office okay in the excel options we have discussed about the general same formula you can see here r1 c1 reference style when you click the r1 c1 reference style see here your row and column okay. number will be changed same thing uh, it once there is no don't see now my column name is the abcd right in the file menu bar option formula 
is the R1 seven message the style. When click the R1 seven message the style. When press the OK, see here. Your ABCD change to one two three. And one thing more. Okay. When you select the uh, select the initial, see the see the address is the A1, but here is the R1 C1, row one and column one. And when you apply any formula, the address not for the A1 C1 B1. Just like we have select the this. See here. R minus two C minus three. It means. Back side of the row, upside of the row minus upside, and left side is the column. So minus. If you select the uh, yeah, yeah plus two and one. Hmm. This is the R one okay. reference style, but this is not needful. Or uh, sometimes we use in the when using the VLA in the offset functions, we can see that as a reference, but not a, every time. Okay, I will change here. Okay. Now this is the enable background error check. When you write any anything wrong in the Excel, just like wrong formula, wrong number, this I have typed the number in the text form. This is the number, but it's stored as a text form. So see here your error notification. Click here, see here. Number stored as a text, convert to number, or number will convert and ignore, ignore. But ignore only for this time, this this location. When you type another cell, mm -hmm. another sheet, you can get the notification again. That time, okay. go to the file menu bar, the options, formula. You can un uncheck the enable background error checking. You can uncheck the enable background checking. When you uncheck your enable background error checking in the, your application. <laughs> not so the notice error notification. Not a, this file, this sheet. Mm -hmm. Every file in this sheet because I have changed the whole application setting. Not a not a single file setting. This is the completely application setting. Okay. Okay. You can change the setting in the Excel option. The setting the all application, all file, new uh, old every file. Okay. Second yeah. thing you are proofing, proofing the symbol auto correct here. Yes. You can create the shortcut just like we have DS. When you type the DS on the Excel sheet, there is the space DS convert to daily sales report. Okay, I just give okay. uh, the example here. Here, DS just place the space daily sales report. If you have the list of any type of the sentence, you can use the frequently again and again. Any type of the scientific word, you can forget the spelling. That that time you can create the auto correct in the proofing auto correct option. Okay, type the your, your replace word here and type the replacing word and click the replace or add. Okay, yeah. click on the save. You can also save the default file format. Your file uh, defaultly save. When you click the save, your file default save the in the my document. But many people uh, not save your file in the document. Save in the D drive, C drive, right? You can change the change the path here. Just paste the path here or every file. Save in the same the same uh, directory. Okay. Also change the default file format. If you have a, a do work with the VBA programming, so if you can't change the every time when you save the VBA programming, mm -hmm. that time you can select the default file format, micro enable workflow. Okay. Okay. Now is the advanced. Advanced is the miscellaneous setting. Just like when you press the enter cursor is down, you can change here. Right up left. If you want to uh, disable the drag and drop, if you want to uh, divide by 100, every type the number, you can see here. So now you, you have to see the, your advanced setting. Hmm. And if you requirement for change, you can cha change on self. If you not requirement to change, uh, keep it. Hmm. Okay. 
and tomorrow we discuss about the home menu bar so tomorrow we start home menu bar in the home menu bar the copy paste and paste special paste special is the main big uh, topic because in the paste special have a calculation and everything in there excel so tomorrow we discuss the case special right sir okay if you have any no. question ask me yeah yeah um